Hey, what is up? This is Adam with the Cloud Automation Blog with a video on something a little more personal around finding cheap flights. So when I started this blog, the real purpose was around enterprise type tooling and enterprise type requests. So working with the APIs around Active Directory and IPAM and IPS IDS systems and backup and configuration management, all those really cool things. But this is a transformative technology. It's not something that a lot of people just jump in. And I'm a firm believer that if you can apply a tool to your personal life, you could probably see, once you get in and actually start to see how they work, you could easily apply it to your day-to-day -day job within an IT environment. So in this video, I'm gonna cover how to search for cheap flights. So what we're looking at right now is vRealize Orchestrator, and I've created a workflow here that just goes out to the same system that Google Flights uses. It's called ITA Matrix, and it just does a REST request. So this is pretty straightforward, pretty easy, so I'm just gonna walk through the steps here. So the first step, I'm gonna click the little pencil here to actually edit, to get in edit mode. So the first step here is this format date. And you can see I put a little acronym at the end there um, because this, this part was the hardest part. This one took me the longest, even though it's pretty simple. It's just messing with the dates, trying to figure out how to actually format them the way I wanted. So I really don't have a ton of inputs or outputs on this request because I wanted to reuse it over and over again and actually execute it every day to actually search for flights every day. So if I go to general, you can see some attributes there. If I go to inputs, there are no inputs and no outputs either. And the actual scheme itself, if I drill into this first one, we'll see that there, there's an input, it's pushed to the log input. And I do have some outputs throughout the workflow itself. So I jump to scripting. What I'm trying to do here is, is fast forward a certain amount of, of months or days or weeks or whatever you really wanted. This is completely customizable to whatever you'd want. And there's probably a more elegant way to do this. There's a thousand ways to skin an orchestration cat. Literally, there's probably 10,000 if you were to talk to somebody else. There's really no right way as long as the code is somewhat efficient and easy to read. So what I'm doing here is I'm getting a date. I'm setting the month of that date four months out. So I, I want to look for flights four months out, but I only want to look for this search when I leave on a Friday. So the date would be the fifth day of the week and I come back on a Sunday. So I need those two days. So I need the, the four months out, that first Friday, and then the following Sunday. So I do that here. I'll put this code in the actual blog itself. I'm pretty much getting the next day of the week and I'm looking for, and, and it's the day. So if I'm looking for the fifth day, it'd be that Friday. The sixth day would be the Saturday. The seventh day in this case is, is a Sunday. And then I need to parse that, that date to actually a format that ITA software uses. So that's what I'm doing here. So I'm actually, let me scroll back. So I'm actually getting the full year. So it's um, year, 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 dash, uh, month, month. So that's the two months. Um, and then dash day day is the format and I'm actually adding one here because this is uh, the month and days start at zero rather than one so you just have to add one to those so moving on we're actually now formatting that JSON text so this is something that they provided I, I pretty much just customized it but you know the origin the destination in this case I'm looking for a flight to Belize and then the date Friday and date Sunday those are those two dates I just parsed on the previous scriptable task and then the number of tickets the total number of solutions and then the max price you're looking for Really, the solutions you could do just one because you just this isn't going to book the ticket. It's just going to notify you, hey, that this this ticket exists at least for the next five or ten minutes. You should probably go check. As long as you got one solution back, there's probably more than one possible ticket. Um, in this case, I just did ten, and then I actually stringify that response. Going on to the next one, I actually execute that REST request. So this uh, again, this is a pretty basic API. So I've already added the API. If you're curious on how to actually add the API, I have another video on um, how to actually work with APIs within VRO that I'll link to in this blog. Um, but I'm actually executing that REST request. Here's the URL template that I'm using. And then I'm adding my API key, executing the request and capturing that via log. And then I'm parsing that JSON. So what I'm looking for is to see if there's a sale total a key so right here sale total so i'm just parsing the json there's a couple of arrays within this within the overall json so i pull this to a variable called val and in this decision let me edit that in this decision i just say is the is it defined if it's not defined if it's null it means it didn't find it within that json which means the solution didn't it didn't come back with a with a flight under 350 dollars so in that case, it just fails. If it did find something, it would actually send me an email alert. I hope that helped. If you have any questions, feel free to comment, subscribe to my blog, subscribe to the channel, and I will post any relevant code and links in the comments below. Thank you.